Good day ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be trying to sort out the Pathfinder's 2E bestiaries. Mainly we're going to be adding pictures to bestiary 1 and 2, since those are the only two PDFs that I do have available at the time. So with, with that being said, I do have a fresh install of uh, um, Foundry. And right now I'm simply going to install Pathfinder 2E. Should not take long, so bear with me. Okay, for this to work we'll also need a couple of modules. I'm gonna get into them uh, right now. One moment. You have to foundry for Pathfinder 2E. Okay. And uh, Compendium Image Map. This can be located on uh, the Foundry overall page. Uh, I wasn't able to locate it via modes, but however, you can go to project URL and simply copy this link. Copy, install module, install. Uh, hopefully, I did. Get the correct one. Hmm. Hopefully it did. Let me double check something uh, very quickly. There is a possibility. Compendium image. Oh, no. This is something else. Uh, however, I'm going to uh, simply test it like this. So I'm going to create a new world. Uh, not install topologies. Test. Game system. It's going to be a pathfinder. Create world. Launch world. Game master. Join game. Uh, it's going to take a couple of minutes to load. And everything should be good to go. Okay, with the modules, make sure you have both activated. Okay, it did refresh. I'm gonna create a new scene just to have a test, in, so I can test stuff out. Since I want to make sure there's, there's not gonna be any errors. So first things first, with uh, the PDF importer, I'm gonna go to bestiary. It's not really necessary because it does take into account everything you might have. And I'm going to select the first base area, which for me is this one. Freshly downloaded from the Paiso uh, website, and I'm going to be waiting right now to have it fully extracted. It's, uh, it's a lengthy process, however, this is going to be the same for any base area or any other uh, tool that you might be using or module. In the meantime, uh, since uh, the overall files will gonna be split in two types, it's gonna be uh, uh, one with actors and one with tokens. I, I set up a code for PowerShell to simplify renaming them, since there are some issues from what I've noticed with uh, uh, Copedio's uh, image mapper's name. In the meantime, I'm gonna double check the overall uh, image mapper to see if I got, uh, downloaded the correct information. This is uh, slowly being made, and depending where uh, your foundry folder is, we're going to be getting into that in a couple of moments. Mine is set up uh, for C and PDF to foundry. You're going to be able to see here that it's very slowly extracting the above NPCs. Very steadily, but certainly. Um, 
If you can do uh, read through the overall information that's provided by uh, both modules, since they can provide a very st steady influx, well, of information. After this, I'm gonna double check something. I'm gonna check for updates on both modules, just to make sure that I'm gonna be up to date with everything. This should not take long. Uh, it takes a little bit longer to extract the overall NPCs. Currently, you'll be able to see my bestiary is here. It doesn't have any any icons or images attached to them. We're gonna be fixing that in a moment. However, there's a little bit of steps that we need to do. Okay, it's completed. We had the confirmation. Right now I'm gonna return to setup. Uh, and gonna hit update all. Just to make sure. Okay, going back into my wall. And also into my folder. Uh, I'm simply gonna select uh, all of the tokens. The best way I, f I found it, I found it uh, to is actually put dot token dot and basically separating them from all of the other uh, actors, like regular pictures. Okay, I'm just double checking to see that there's every one of them. Uh, I'm gonna hit back. Or forward, sorry. Uh, I shouldn't have copied them, which I did uh, more of an instinct, uh, instinctively. I'm gonna select all and control X to cut. Um, I'm gonna go back to the data folder. I'm gonna create a new folder. It's gonna be bestiary one tokens. Everything should be moved here. Okay, double checking again, just to make sure that uh, nothing is in here. Okay, part one completed. I'm gonna uh, create a new folder. As I noticed, there are some issues uh, if I'm trying to do this in PDF to find the module. The module seemed to conflict a little bit. Okay, so, new folder. BSTRE1. I'm gonna select all, cut, going back to the data folder, and paste. Uh, just make sure um, that you don't have any spaces, it will simplify things quite a bit. So, that being done, we're simply gonna go, be going to Compedia Mapper, select the correct BSTRE that we uh, want to do. And currently, uh, we're gonna be going with portraits, firstly, since uh, we have them separately, separated into folders. Okay. I'm gonna select here 50% automatically map the uh, image if match ratio is above 50%. And I'm gonna select this theory one, just to make sure that these are the overall picture. And I'm gonna hit select. Okay. And start mapping. Oh, apologies. I forgot one big step on this one. I'm gonna close Foundry so you will not have any issues. Okay, right now we do have the issues that uh, the Compendium Image Mapper does find the dot actor dot part a bit funny. So what we can do about that? It's simply rename all of them, uh, simply removing the dot actor. So what I tend to do is shift, right click. I'm using a Windows 11, so this uh, should be an open shell, uh, PowerShell window here. Okay, and these are the codes that will come into play at this moment. So simply gonna hit uh, right click after I copied it from the text file. And um, this this basically states the overall look in all files in their name replace if you find this to anything else. Uh, let's put it like this: actor space. 
Actually, without space since it's gonna be a dot by the end. Actor dot. Remove the first actor. But make sure there is a space here. Okay, I'm gonna hit enter. If you look very closely here, as soon as it finishes, oh, wrong enter, this one. You're gonna be able to see troll space actor. Okay. Uh, first part done. Okay. I'm gonna close this. Go into data. Go into tokens, and we're gonna be doing exactly the same thing. But this time we're gonna be replacing um, token with actor. So I'm gonna do it manually, so you'll see exactly. So it, here is going to be token dot from token dot and go and there you go. Okay, opening foundry right about now. Just to make sure it loads everything as intended, I'm going to start the server as game master. Wait for a few, and in in your mapper, make sure once again you have base thirty one. Select portrait since we're going to be working on that, and I'm going to select here fifty percent just to make sure if uh, that everything goes as intending. Uh, this is not really uh, necessary, but it is preferred to have it uh, off, and we're going to be starting mapping. And should work as intended, hopefully. Okay, I have made a mistake. <laughs> However, it's slowly, slowly updating. Okay, I need to close this so it moves a little bit faster. Okay, um, I'm gonna explain whatever mistake I made uh, a little bit earlier. I'm clicking as fast as I can, so bear with me. Um, right now I'm gonna select, since these are gonna be edited, Young Red Dragon, that's fine. Sea Devil Brute, I know there is none. Red Cobble Dragon Mage, I know there is none. None. Mera White, we can use the regular. Uh, Ancient Red Dragon Spellcaster, Ancient Red Dragon, okay. If we look at the overall uh, names, not all of them have been edited properly. So what I like to do is go on a 30% and right now, since I forgot one locket, I'm gonna remap everything once more. I should have more options. It's a little bit of a tedious process, however, it's a one-time kind of thing. So, Young Red Dragon, Spellcaster. Okay, Young Red Dragon. Okay, Soul God. Non-existent, 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 etc. However, if we look right now, if 30% is selected, uh, some of the others were already uh, replaced. Okay, we have done the overall characters. So, let's drop them in the vault. Currently, if we open them, it doesn't show any tokens for them. So, that's a problem. Okay. Closing. Medium upper. BCR1. Let me close this, because it's going to go haywire. Okay, bestiary one tokens, select the first one, since we already replaced. Uh, 30%, only four tokens this time. And doesn't matter. This one is preferably not, since we, they do have a default image, however, there is no token for them. We're gonna be starting mapping. Something very similar is gonna happen to the other ones. They're gonna ask us for duplicates. Dragon Spellcaster. Okay, this is it. Younger Dragon. Okay, this is it. There isn't, there isn't, there isn't, there isn't. I 
Ah, you get the drift. And right now, if anything should work as intended as for my last two attempts, you're gonna get something like this. That was it. Easy as pie. Hope you did enjoy. And if you did, do uh, hit a like and subscribe for the 2 millennia videos I make once every 2 millennia. So, see you there.